For today's project, I'm going to use this slab of ash to make a welcome sign. I just printed that out quickly. Uh, I'm going to trace round it onto the wood and then use the router to cut it out. I'm just going to use this blunt pencil to trace round the lettering. There's probably better ways to do this. You could use carbon paper, but I haven't got any. So basically by using the blunt pencil, I lean pretty hard. And when I take the stencil off, I can see the outline where I've imprinted the pencil into the wood or the, the drawing into the wood. And then I just trace around the freehand with the pencil. It's not that complicated of a design, so it's easy to do it this way. I just do that the whole way around the whole pattern. It's not very neat, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be routing that out anyway. It's just a rough guide. So I traced around all the letters. Now I just have to peel this all off. Try to keep it intact just in case I missed any bits or have to go over any of it again. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a light sort of indentation. I think you can see it a small bit there of the outline of the letters. Now I'll just use a pencil and just trace around all them. So just keep going like that until I'm finished. I'll have to go around and tidy up some little bits where I wobble there going freehand, but uh, it's easy enough to follow. And as I said, I'm using the router to clean that all out. So it's not gonna make too much of a difference how steady the lines are. So I finished tracing around all the lettering and the laurels. That's perfect for using the router. It's nice and clear. I'm going to use my uh, V chisel to uh, carve out the laurel. I was going to use the router, but I think it's just easier to use this. I'm basically just carving a deep groove. I'm not trying to do something with a delicate detail or anything like that, because I'm going to fill this with a uh, black paint after before I varnish the sign so that the laurel and the welcome are all black. When I'm doing this, I'm always moving the workpiece, just trying to get the best angle, the easiest way for me to cut without the chisel slipping off the workpiece or cutting into a piece that I don't want to. Uh, when I'm doing it as well, I also I sort of wiggle the top of the chisel because I find this stops it from slipping if you try to compare it to trying to shove it continuously all the through in one line. Like this sort of little wiggle just stops me from slipping. Then when I come near the end and I'm getting to the leaf on the tip of the laurel, I just lower the angle of the V2 and come slowly up out of it so it doesn't take a big uh, lump with it. It just needs a nice little shallow stop end right before the leaf. I'm not following the, the pattern I drew on was just basically to give me a rough idea where I want to put each of the leaves on the laurel plant. Um, so I just sort of go by eye, yeah, like if I was to carve that one right now it would be a little bit too close. So I'll just roughly follow the outline of it, but I'll keep away from that one so when I fill them in they aren't, um, you know, too close together and don't look good like. 
So I'll just work my way down that and I'll show you a clip when I have it all done. So that's the laurel carving done on both sides. The next thing to do is to carve the middle piece. I set up my router bit with a 5mm bit. My router has a little shield but I still wear safety glasses when using it because um, I'm going to be looking quite close to try and follow the lines around the welcome sign. I like to use a smaller bit instead of a wider one because when I'm starting off the cut, I can drop it in the middle of the two lines and if it moves a little bit, it won't go outside the lines, it doesn't matter too much whereas with the bigger bit, if you come outside the lines, it's pretty much ruining the piece so that's the next step I slowly and carefully followed the lines until I had the entire word carved out. I gave it a quick sand off. Now I'm going to fill the lettering and the laurels with some uh, black acrylic paint. I'll let that dry and then sand it off so that I only have paint inside the lettering and the laurels. So the paint is dry now. I'm gonna try and sand this off and I'm hoping it works because I've not tried this before so I don't know if she's gonna smudge all the black acrylic dust all around the wood. But uh, hopefully it doesn't. So that worked out well. It took all the paint off the top surface. But left the paint down in the carving. So it worked great. I'm finishing off with some quick grind clear lacquer. And that's it finished and hung up on the wall.